This is Suresh Pasvi working as a school student mass, Municipal Corporation School, Main Karapa. Today we are going to discuss midpoint theorem of ninth class quadrilaterals chapter. Okay. So the line segment is joining the midpoints of two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side and also half of it. So the line segment joining the midpoints, the line segment joining the midpoints of <coughs> two sides of the triangle to the third side and also half of it. Right. So the lines segment, the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and also half of it. And also half of it. So this is the theorem. That means here A, sorry, this is B, nothing but A, B, C is a triangle. The midpoint of AB is E and the midpoint of AC is F. If we join EF, this is parallel to the third side and also half of it. And also half of it. So this is the theorem. What is given? ABC is a triangle with E and F as the midpoints of AB and AC respectively. A, B and A, C respectively. Okay, Rana? So, this is A, B, C is a triangle with E and F as the midpoints of A, B and A, C respectively. And also, we have to show that E, F is parallel to B, C. And E, F is equal to half B, C. E, F is equal to half B, C. We have to show this. Look, first, join E and F and extend it. And extend it for, to till the to the D, okay. And extend it D, okay. And draw a line parallel to BA through C to meet D. That means draw a line parallel to BA through C, which is, which is going to meet D. Meet D and. EF is extended till D. Okay. So, this is the triangle. One minute. Now, sir, I triangle. Okay, I am going to triangle. This is a triangle, which we name it as ABC. AB midpoint is E, AB midpoint is E, and AC midpoint is F. So we have to extend, we have to extend EF till D. And also, we have to draw a parallel line, which is uh, parallel to BA. And also, from C, and also it uh, intersects at D. So this is the problem. OK, Rana? No? As, as we uh, as given that, uh, 
AB is parallel to sorry AB BC uh, midpoints. So then this is nothing but AB AE is equal to EB and uh, AF is equal to FC. Am I right? So first we have to prove that EF is parallel to BC and EF is equal to half BC. No doubt about that. Join EF, changes will join EF and also extend it till D and draw a parallel line to, uh, to BA from C which is uh, which is uh, to meet D. This is to meet D. Okay, I will next right Nana? so e bomb i pen so automatically join ef okay in triangle aef and cdf a e f this is a triangle a e f and triangle c d f triangle a f and triangle c d f a f is equal to c f a f is equal to c f no doubt about that next step because f is the midpoint of ac because it is the midpoint of ac okay right next year angle a f e is equal to angle c f d angle a f e is this angle a f e is this and angle c f d c f d is this so these are all vertically opposite angles so vertically opposite angles are always equal Vertically opposite angles are always equal. Okay, na? next angle A F is equal to angle C D F. Angle A F and A D. Then you go color to this one. No? So okay. So A F is equal to angle C D F. C D F. Why? Why? Because alternate interior angles of C D bar and B A bar is transversal E D. And uh, already I told that. From C, we draw a parallel line to AB that is CD. So these are all these are parallel lines. So these parallel lines and ED is uh, transversal of that. ED is transversal of that. So this is nothing but alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. In Ningo Kasari, you can this Okay, can this Okay, Okay, so screen so, yeah, I am going to teach it. So, this is a CD. This is a CD. This is a This is a CD. This is a CD. CDF 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 Alternate interior angles Right. So that's why they are equal. So here two angles and one uh, their common side two angles and their common side are equal so so that's why from a yes a congruence rule from a yes a congruence rule triangle a f is identically equal to triangle c d f and prove a f c f equal next to a f to part two E angle, E angle, next to E angle, E angle, CDF angle. We are going to put a E column. Automatically, ASA congruency rule. ASA congruency rule. Triangle AEF is identically equal to triangle CDF. Triangle AEF is identically equal to triangle CDF. From ASA congruency rule. 
नेक्स्ट दस ये ही इज इक्वल सी डी एंड ई एफ इज इक्वल डी एफ नो डाउट ये ही इज इक्वल टू सी डी एंड ई एफ इज इक्वल टू डी एफ वाइ करस्पोंडिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ करस्पोंडिंग ट्रायंगल्स आर ऑलवेज इक्वल सो सो दैट्स व्हाई ये ही ये दिन की वेरी कलर इज दम ना ये ये नहीं दिन की ओके वेरी कलर इज दम आ सो ये कलर इज दम I think a black is the number. Black is the number. Okay. So, A E is equal to end the number C D. A E is equal to C D. Okay. Next, E F is equal to E F D. E F is equal to E F D. Corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are always E F D. We know A E is equal to B. No, no doubt about that. We know A E is equal to B. Automatically. B is equal to C D हो तो ना कहा था B is equal to C D हो तो ना कहा था so B is equal to C D हो ये ही is equal to B ये कहाँ पे थी B is equal to क्या C D हो तो but but मिक्स वेल्स हो you know very well B is parallel to C D B is parallel to C D and B is equal to C D therefore it is a parallel algebra so दिन ये मानो इलावाइड दिशा से इलावाइड दिशा से इलावाइड चेस्ट में ना this is nothing but parallel algebra हो तो ये B it is e it is c it is d okay so b is parallel to cd and b is all b is equal to cd so opposite sides are parallel and they are equal so that's why we can say that it is a parallel algebra you can say that it is a parallel and also ed is parallel to bc also it is parallel to bc automatically ed is parallel to bc okay ef is also parallel to bc ef is also parallel to bc so ed is parallel to bc automatically ये फिजाल्स ही पैरेलल तो बीसी अंडे ये डी मत्तम पैरेलल हो बीसी ऐसे ये पर बीसी पैरेलल होता नहीं होना तो ये फिजाल्स ही पैरेलल तो बीसी इन एस बीसी डी इज पैरेलल आदम ये डी इज बोल बीसी सो बीसी डी ई इज पैरेलल आदम नो डॉट आदम मानो आगे डिचेस इस समय जान लो ये डी इज बोल बीसी हाउ अंडे Automatically, it is equal to BC. At least, that is because DF is equal to EF. DF is equal to EF. It is two common method. At one time, no. BC is equal to DF. It is two common method. Okay. Next. We have shown EF is equal to EF. So, this is another one. We have shown EF is equal to EF. So, two EF is equal to BC. And then another. So, most of it is under BC. Okay, part. You can only take one part only. E F is equal to कंडीशन बना है E F is equal to D F आटोमेटिकली इधर हाफ इधर हाफ होता है सो रेंड हाफ लगा लेते हो का B C है रेंड हाफ लगा लेते हो का B C है अंदर two E F is equal to two E F is equal to B C अंदर क्या है रेंड हाफ लगा लेते हो two E F is equal to B C इनको B C is equal रहेगा इधर है हाफ E F हाफ सो वी कैन सी दैट द कांवर्सल ऑफ़ द आवो स्टेटमेंट इज़ आल्सो लेट अस टेक इट एंड देन See how you can prove it. So, eighth uh, converse ante reverse hai kya karna? Reverse ante it means me ko kunch jo varenge jab pal ante ah one minutes converse ante kya karna? Na? So, okay, okay, statement lo sorry, okay, theorem lo ni me unta ante kya na? Theorem lo statement unta di taravata to prove it. स्टेट प्रूव स्टेट दिडे So next in next video we have we have to discuss eight point eight. Okay, we have to discuss eight point eight in next video. Next video we have to discuss eight point eight theorem of uh, quadrilaterals of ninth class mathematics. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe my channel and spread my channel and don't forget to like first. Don't forget to like first. Okay. So my channel name is Jasmine Mass Made Easy. 
आई एम वर्किंग एज ए स्कूल स्टूडेंट मुंसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन हाई स्कूल मई करवा ठीक है ना थैंक यू बाय बाय सी यू